Ah, Street Fighter 1994. Oh, great year. This gentleman right here has been waiting a long time to torture me with. Not, not necessarily to do a review, just, just to, to watch the movie. Make me have to sit through it. And I did. Now, when we were living together, did we ever watch it together? Ever? Oh, no. Because I, I know I've always owned it. It's always had a soft spot in my heart for me. Um, so I know I owned it. I just couldn't recall as I was watching it no, last I, night. I, I remember every traumatic experience I've had in my life. <laughs> and I would, I would remember. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm all right. It would, it, would be, it would be fun watching it with you. I'm right. I'm, I'm, I'm joking, but... So then, next follow-up question, how long has it been since, okay, I know you watched it today, yesterday, whatever, how long had it been, though, since you had seen it? All the way through? Yeah. 1994, wow, ladies so and no gentlemen. no return viewing since oh, no. 30 years ago. Okay. One, one hit a quitter, as uh, <laughs> I used to say. I don't, First, I don't... let's discuss the new shirt. I have a new shirt. Yes. I ain't got time to bleed. And the only reason why I want to bring it up is because I watch a lot of uh, first-time reactions, even though I know a lot of those people are lying. Um, and one of my favorite first-time reactions to watch is Predator. Okay. Um, and in that movie, of course, Jesse Ventura says, I "Ain't got time to bleed." Yes. Now I know Classic that line. you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna know where I'm going with this because you you played football. Yeah. When I watch these uh, review uh, first-time reviews or whatever. It, it befuddles people. I ain't got time to bleed. What the, you know, what is he, what, what? I'll explain. Um, if you are, if you are a person who's doing like a physical activity, something that you do probably often or something, it's your thing to do, right? With, with Jonathan, it would have been football. Yeah. With me, it would have been punching people, kicking people in the face. Um, and if you've ever gotten an injury that looked worse than it actually was. Shake off. You sh yeah, yeah, and and let's say someone came up to you, and because it looked worse than what it really was, they then started harping on it, or they they bring it to your attention, and and, and maybe in the heat of the moment, you can't get the right words out, like "Hey, it's okay," "I'm," "It's just blah blah blah," you don't, and it too long it takes too long. I ain't got time to bleed. Yep, that's what that is. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to elaborate. I got better things to do tonight than die. <laughs> there you go. I, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I one of my favorite, just to tie in real quick, if we have time for the moment. Is I love watching people who are. I agree with you. I think most of the time they're lying about it being their first time to watch it. I love watching 1986 Transformers first time uh, reactors. Uh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Either people just watching it just for the show, but also you occasionally get some people that are animators watching it for the animation aspect of yeah. it. And that's a lot of fun. But that's one of my favorite lines from the movie that's in that same vein. Mm -hmm. It's when the Decepticons are attacking Autobot City, and Springer's like, I got better things to do tonight than die. <laughs> great line. Yeah, yeah. And a great movie. Yeah. All right. Well, enough about great movies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is starting early. My personal opinion. Here we go. So, best and worst parts of Street Fighter the movie, starring John Claude Van Damme, Ming Yao Wen. A lot of people. A lot uh, of people. Rob Julia. Uh, the Locomotion. Uh, Kylie Minogue. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, it's even got Benny the Jet Orchidus in there. He it's, doesn't have any lines. Any, anyway. It's a loaded movie. movie. Yeah. It loaded. <laughs> <laughs> like bowels. Uh, <laughs> um, it was not Taco Bell. <laughs> Can we do best and worst part first of the movie? All right. Let's start with best. Can we start with best then? Sure. Let's start and, with... And I'll let you go first. Let me go first. Because this is, this is your lipstick on a pig moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's start on a high note. Best part of the movie or best scene. Our favorite part of Street Fighter. Well, 
I am going to have to be cliche. Okay. But I have an honorable mention. Okay. Which, the honorable mention is actually, okay, no, no, no. My favorite part of the movie is actually not going to be cliche. So my honorable mention will be the cliche. Okay. The actual best part of this movie, in my opinion, is Raul Julia sure. as Bison. Yeah. Everybody says it. That's, I'm not going to try to... That's not your favorite character? Buck the trend. Or, or, e- everybody says it. I'm not going to try to buck the trend. The best part of this movie... No, because every time he's on screen, you know... It's, it's Shang Tsung over again yeah. from, Mortal, from the Mortal Kombat review we talked about. And I do prefer Shang Tsung, but that's a different movie. Ooh. I prefer... I prefer Shang Tsung, but that's a different... Ooh. Now, and you also right. got to take under consideration Shang Tsung can actually do martial arts. Oh, sure, sure. But Raul Julia, best part of this movie. My favorite part, though? So what's I'm putting in this category? When... <laughs> <laughs> when Guile is in the briefing before they go to the island and he's talking about the plan. Yes. What's the plan? We're going to distract him with some shit over here while I ride the you know, while the boat comes up through here. And I don't know this dude's name, but this guy stands up and it is the worst acting of all time. A single boat against everything he's got? The pilot would have to be out of his mind. Luckily, Bison has driven me crazy. And then Gal responds with the second worst <laughs> acting. Don't laugh yet. Give it two seconds to see Cammy's reaction to all of this. She cringes so goddamn hard. Like, the line is just... It's little, so bad. It's bad. But it, it, but it's good. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's my favorite part of the movie. It made me laugh very hard. Watched oh. it several times. <laughs> my favorite part of this movie is when they're at the thieves market and the oh. booby trap has been set, mm-hmm. and they're watching mm-hmm. the television screen, <laughs> and they're watching the van that's on fire. <laughs> I the know fireworks where you're going with this. Yes. To their tent, and they look. It's a group of a whole slew of the made mostly villains, right? Yeah. And they look, yeah. and they see the van, and they look back at the camera, and everybody's cluing in. And Zangief goes, "Quick, change channel. It's quick, change the channel." It's delivered so, and everybody just stops and looks at him like it's just the dumbest. <laughs> the line delivery is perfect. But he though. doesn't. But but it. But he is unfazed. They oh, are looking oh, yeah. at him like, "Are you crazy?" And he is still looking at the screen like, "Seriously, yeah, it's, the, it's, it's great. It's great." Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. And if I recall yeah. correctly, that part was even in the trailer. I wonder if that was in the yeah. It was and it was, the script, and it was still. Oh, it's just so good. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. yeah my favorite part. Mm. Worst part. The worst part <laughs> of Street Fighter the movie <laughs> is the audacity. The audacity to take this video game that we had been playing for years. We know front to back, side, to, we know from the windows to the wall. <laughs> And fuck it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Children, children, gonna hear. And fuck it up. (laughs) The audacity. Fighter is in the title. Street is in the title. I didn't see no street fighting. I didn't even hardly see any fighting. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you were to take a a a a a video recorder, a video a, a video camera. And you had filmed me and my friends when we were like between the ages of 7 and 12, just playing outside. You would get the same quality movie as Street Fighter from 1994. That's that's the level of acting you would... It Some of the stuff that they say in this movie, it is if there is no script. Yes. There yes. are scenes... There's a scene where everybody is shooting at Van Damme with machine guns... And he's got a pistol. And he's wide out open. in the open. Oh, like, my God. They have the high ground. 
nobody can. It's stormtroopers, man. Nobody can hit. And and then he gets swarmed. It's like a rally point. All of the heroes come to him, all out in the open. So it's not just several people trying to shoot one guy. They're in a line. It's practically a firing. Nobody can hit anything. Now, did you notice? And they're picking up concrete and throwing it back at the villains and oh, hitting them and, in the and, face and, with and, it. And, 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 and they're oh, dead. Yeah. And one shot, and they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> There's a scene in there. That, okay, so when that, I know exactly what part you're talking about. He's on that wall. He's in the. He's in the base. Yeah. All right. Now, did you see, okay, this part where he's like, hey, you guys go do such and such and such and such, and I'll hold him off. As I think Chun Li is jumping over the barricade or whatever, he starts shooting. I'm like, you almost shot her arm off. Yes. You're not even, they don't care. I know. There's I know. The blocking is off. I know. They don't. Uh, it's, it's. And the so... part where the guy's shooting at him, and he, he runs out of bullets and he picks up the smallest of objects. <laughs> <laughs> He throws it. I'm t- he doesn't do this. No, he just... Dude. <laughs> the audacity. That is the worst part of this movie for me. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm, we're, I'm just going to continue to pile on here, but on a specific note, one thing that you mentioned, the fighting. It is called Street Fighter. So... I had asked you how long it had been since you'd seen the movie. Right. You had answered... Um, I'm not nearly as bad because I do enjoy this movie as a guilty pleasure every now and again, but still it, it's been 10 or plus years. It's been a while. Okay. okay. Um, I could have sworn there was more fighting in this movie. <laughs> I really like could have. And like leading up to the climax of them storming the base, mm. I remember or thought I did mm. other fight scenes. Mm. Nearly every time any fight scene in this movie starts, here we go. It gets interrupted. Yes, that quickly. Yes, and so there's almost no fighting. Mm. And what fighting there is, it's cutaways, mm. it's, over okay. and over and over again. And I tried. I got to a point where I was looking for or rewinding back through the movie, looking for any move done. Com- from one complete, person to another. A complete, and it's right. a complete frame. Right. It, there yep, are zero. I was zero. doing the same. I was doing there the same. There are zero. It is camera show, that, not even the whole punch, just, I mean, sometimes they would show the whole punch, but it's like camera show this, and then camera show that. Yeah. It's, or, or the kick, or anything. Mm-hmm. Didn't, it, punch, kick. Kick, punch, it's all in the mic. Mm-hmm. Didn't matter if it was an elaborate thing, mm-hmm. a quick thing. It didn't mm-hmm. matter if it was a one-on-one fight, so there mm-hmm. was nowhere else for the camera to cut away, mm-hmm. or if it was multiple people fighting. It didn't matter. Mm-hmm. Not a single continuous camera shot for any Mm-mm. shot in this film. Not a single one. And I even it even got so bad, I pulled out my phone while we were watching it, because Becky sat through it. Uh, she loves me enough. She sat through it and watched <laughs> it with me. Yeah. And uh, I pulled out my phone to see if the same fight coordinator, director, anything from Bloodsport, Bloodsport. carried over into this movie. Right. Did not, right. but I looked. It was yeah. that bad. And so the, the worst part of this movie is any time there's actually supposed to be fighting. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Which is not a good thing in a movie called Street Fighter. No. No. Not at all. You're... Which one you want to... Your worst move in Worst the... move. So we already talked about uh, the problems with various moves. Yes. My worst move, I'm only including it because... I'll tell you. So, again, it's during the base run uh, at the end of the movie where just, there's just... Not only are there cutaways because there's cutaways... But there's cutaways, you know, uh, there's cutaways because there's lots of action and lots of fighting all over the place. They keep cutting from everybody fighting and they cut to the army, the backups that have finally arrived because Guile uh, and Cammy and T-Hawk were the distraction group that showed up in advance. And you ready? Uh, (laughs) So now the alarm has gone off in in my honorary... uh, favorite part of the movie when he tries to kill the guy and he falls over on the alarm setting it off i love that that Mm. was so campy Mm. it was just and the hook on his face when he's like oh i fucked up it was great (laughs) my worst move it's only my worst move because i'm almost positive 
it's the same move cut into the movie twice. Uh oh. It's I'm I'm ninety eight percent. I rewound this so many times, and I know for the purposes of of efficiency and economizing, you know, with fight sequences. They, they, you see it all the time, especially with group fighting. And if there's a back shot, yeah. you see no, people yeah. do moves, and then ten seconds later, yeah. you see a camera closer of another character, and they're doing a and move. Doing you know, you shot, you yeah. saw ten <clears throat> seconds ago. Yeah. Cool, mm -hmm. whatever. We got to economize and so on and I'm so okay forth. Yeah. But mm -hmm. there's an uppercut from T Hawk, where and the camera's down here on the ground, so it's just up at him, and he's just selling it right, uh -huh. and. Knocks a dude out. It cuts to Cammy, and and the camera cut is so fast. There was a kick. I don't even know what it was though. Shit. And then it cuts back, and it's him uppercutting again. And oh. I swear, it's the same shot. Okay. Like, I think I and there's it. nothing wrong with it. It's just you've already you need so much in this movie, and you grabbed filler. You know, I, I, I watched how he, because he's got a braid, you know, so with mm -hmm. the whole, his whole body's into this uppercut. Yeah. So I watched the way his hair spun, <laughs> everything, I'm 98, and it, but it's quick. Like, it's like uppercut, cut to her, uppercut, cut to her doing something else that isn't the same thing. I'm almost certain I know exactly what. But I'm 98% sure it's just the same shot and they inserted it twice. Does the kick that Cammy do, does, is it, is it one of those? <laughs> Yes, I wanna, I think okay. So. I, all right. I, all right. I think again. I it's so quick. I'm. I know it's a kick. Yeah. That she does. Yeah. I, I'm so almost, yeah. it's worse move just because of the audacity of it being filler. <laughs> you know. It's yeah. just And it's not even a complete move either. It's not even a full follow through. His arm is practically all the way up in the air by the time the cameras <laughs> come back to him. Uh, and they just put it in twice. Yeah. And it's just your turn. <laughs> so coming up with a worst martial arts move in the movie Street Fighter, a movie that was made by people who don't give a damn about fight choreography or martial arts. Jesus wept. <laughs> I couldn't pick. Yes. So you know what I have as my worst move is a str it, 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 it's a it's a it's not an actual fighting move. It is the fact that when Guile was talking to Bison at the beginning of the movie and saying that he's coming for the hostages, that that idiot gave his friend's name out. Yeah, like yeah, Bison didn't even know he had Charlie. Yeah. And and then Guile on screen is like, Charlie, we're coming for you. And as soon as he says that, Bison's like And and, and of course Charlie was like Oh <laughs> And Bison's like, aha and he and because of that, oh and it gets worse. Yeah. Because of that, then he subjects him to chemical torture, psychological torture, physical torture. It, and he makes him into this abomination, right? It's, it's Blanca. Blanca, right? And then when Gaio finally rescues or runs back into his friend Charlie, who is now Blanca, you know what Gaio decides to do? He decides to blow his brains out. <laughs> I'm going to help you. go from some Tylenol, he doesn't try to use his, his, his Obamacare or nothing. He's, he, just, no, he got fired, he, okay? He, he no longer has health care. Remember, he gets fired. Oh, come on, man. Uh, oh, was, my God. What's what, an additional bad part of that scene? Uh. So, he, he the basin, is, at this point in the movie, the base is in self-destruct mode be, for whatever reason. Um, it's an 80s slash 90s bad action movie. It's in self-destruct mode. Mm -hmm. And so he's he's uh, down there 
Or no, that's where he snuck up into. Excuse me. He snuck up from the water up into the base. Oh, yeah. But there's... Mm -hmm. Blanca has already gotten loose and yeah. kicked the crap out of some soldiers, so it's all smoky and crap and damage down there. So Guile gets bum-rushed by Blanca slash Charlie. And, of course, because of this physical uh, improvements to his super soldier body, he's got Guile up here in a chokehold ready to kill him. And... He's disfigured in his face and everything, and it takes Guile this long to go, Charlie, it's just, he immediately knows who it is. And, and in the, okay, just, can you, can we talk about it, Guile? Can we talk about it first? Maybe yeah. there's something we can do. No, nah, you just gonna shoot your friend in the head, huh? Yeah. I'm glad they stopped, at least they stopped him. Ladies, uh, spoiler no, alert, Dawson. it doesn't happen. But he, yeah. he, he, he thought about it. And that's my, uh, what was, what were we on? Worst move. That was worst move. <laughs> Best move. Best move. Best move. Uh, Not shooting him? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, I could not wait for us to review this movie. I've been waiting for this all day. Uh, am I going first with the best move? Sure. All, all right. right. First with worst move, so this is a plus. Well, obviously, it's the best move. No, but it's a plus, though. I'm not even... This isn't going to... There's no sarcasm here. Okay. Well, well, you never... Um, the the end pose. Yeah! The end pose yeah. is my best move because that is the one time that this movie becomes Street Fighter. <laughs> I wonder how many times it took them to get that right. Because when you think about all the different things everybody's doing, and, and, and Chun-Li has to be in the air. Right. So, I just, I don't know. I, that fascinates me, and I just wish I could have seen all of the takes of that particular shot. Yeah. I love that shot. I love it. Yeah. So, I wasn't even thinking I, about that. Even, and when you look, like, for some reason, I just can't picture Van Damme... Yeah, he had to have been on cocaine. I can't. I, you know, because Giles' pose is kind of ridiculous with the, you know, with the combing of the hair and everything. Yeah, and he hits it. He, I, I, kudos to Van Damme for for that. Yeah. So that's my best move. All right. So, well, see, I wouldn't even think of that. I'd like that to be my answer, but I'm gonna give the answer I had anyway, and it unfortunately comes back to what we've already talked about. There are no moves that are a full frame uh, of continuous shot. So it's really hard to pick a move and say it's executed well, poorly, reacted to good, poorly, the body posture is good, poorly. It's almost impossible. Um, so, but I am going to give it a shot and say that it's when Guile's fighting Bison and Van Damme gets a chance to show why he's the headlining martial artist in this movie. Um, you know, I, I don't know too many of the other martial artists very well, with the exception of uh, Ming, who plays Chun-Li. But I don't know the extent of her martial arts capabilities this early in her career. I think she did a wonderful job. No, I'm, I'm not saying she didn't. I'm just saying in comparison... Whatever. She could have been my best part of the movie, but that would be for the wrong, wrong reasons. All right, go ahead. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is... I don't think that she is the known martial artist she is today by that point yeah. in 1994. Right. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. She and Romeo must die. Anyway. All right, you are a go. Anyway, keep going. So, Van Damme and Bison are fighting, and even though there's cutaways everywhere, uh, they give Guile, Van Damme's uh, character, Guile, the opportunity to do his backward somersault, the signature move that's in the video game. Mm-hmm. And even though it's cutaways, it's well executed. Yeah. And I love also that it's a takeaway from the video game. One yeah. of the okay. few times right. they take something from the video game and implement it into the movie. Yep. So that yep. will be my mm -hmm. best move. You get okay. to see Guy, you get to see Dan Dam do some of the stuff we know he can do. No, you, you know it's a little bit of a tribute to the game. Okay, I'm, I can cut that part out. Uh, okay, May, maybe that's why it's a cutaway. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's I had to. I had to reach. 
No, no. Okay. I like yeah. this movie. Yeah. And I had no. to reach for I, that part. I like that movie too. I like that movie too. I like so that there movie. you go. Yeah. My worst character in the movie, and I did not want to do this. Van Damme's character, Guile, unfortunately made the list again. I'm sorry. I I like Van Damme. This this performance was ridiculous. His character is also, like I say, he got his friend almost killed. You look at Chun Chun Li, like her character is amazing. Yeah. Like even even what they did with Balrog and Honda. Honda. They're, they're fine. Great. Cammy, Cammy was fun. You know, Cammy, and not just because it's Kylie Minogue. No, no, I was more of a mean, not mean, not win uh, person. But uh, Cammy, there, at the beginning, she has to like jump into the uh, the I think the news van or something and do a couple yes. things and jump out. Yes. The next scene when she catches back up to everybody, she's breathing hard. Yeah. You don't see that very often. Especially anymore in movies, John Wick, you don't see people breathing hard after. And all she did, she didn't need to show that. She didn't mm. need to act that. So Kylie Minogue, fantastic, yeah, for doing that because that was unne- it wasn't necessary, but it, yeah. it it added for me for someone who likes physical continuity. We couldn't trace it. He broke off too soon. Oh no, no, he doesn't like journalists. But. Van Damme's character, Guile, um, there was just nothing, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to go too deep on this, it's just, he just was a nothing character to me, he, he didn't seem like, he didn't carry the movie well, his character didn't carry the movie well, wasn't written well, Right. no, everything he said was awful, who wants to, but we can go, but, but we can go home. I actually like that. You, the speech, I I thought it was okay. Okay. <laughs> but we can all go home. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that the soldiers were trying to tear up. <laughs> Gonna kick his ass so hard that his ancestors... The, the next bison wannabe is gonna feel it. <laughs> I think that's when he made my list. I think, I think that was when During I was like... The speech? During the motivational crossing speech. out Blanca, oh. how hard are you gonna kick it? Oh no, Mm-mm. Kyle! Uh, it wasn't all dead. <laughs> oh yeah! No, no! See, I'm just half dead. And Bison, all dead. Those lines are literally lines that children could come up with <laughs> while acting out on the playground. <laughs> um. So. It's my turn for worst character. Worst character. Hmm? Worst character. Mm-hmm. Gonna get on a little bit of a soapbox here. Ken Masters. Oh, why did not I pick? Yes! <laughs> Ken! Two, two reasons. Yeah. They, they kind of yeah. go together. All right? So first off, yeah. I, I'm gonna disagree with you slightly to a point about the acting in this movie. While I think, of course, uh, Van Damme is one of the worst offenders, I think most of the other characters did a great job. Most of the other actors did a great job great with, with job. what they had. Uh, okay. Okay? I enjoyed... I think the, the other worst ones, to Sagat and Vega were a little rough. I thought, but the actor who plays Sagat's in a lot of stuff, and yeah, we like, we I, I like, like him anyway. We like West Studi. Yeah, exactly. But I enjoyed Balrog and E. Honda, especially their camaraderie and their back and forth when they had a lot of moments. Mm-hmm. But then you have Ryu and Ken, who are, to a lot of people, the two of them are kind of the signature characters in Street Fighter. Full stop. Yeah, it's, okay. It's their game. Okay. Ryu and Ken. I I didn't want to speak for you, but it, if you want... Okay. Hey, I, don't, I don't play as them, but I know what the hell is going on. It's Ryu and Ken. And I think, unfortunately, the two of them... And they have a very integral part in this movie, too. I think they're more or less the two worst characters in the movie. Yeah. But uh, that's more from a storytelling perspective, I think. 
And out of the two of them, Ken is by far the worst. No, um, he, you win this one. I, I, I think because Guile was in it so much and every, and he made me my eye twitch so often. <laughs> but no, you're right. It is but Ken. The other reason I struggle with Ken every time he's on screen mm -hmm. is because I saw these movies almost... Even though one was in 94 and Mortal Kombat was in 95... I didn't see them in theaters, so I saw them later when they were on video, mm -hmm. you know, two, three years later. Mm -hmm. Practically back to back. Don't remember which I saw first. It's probably actually Mortal Kombat. Every time I see Ken, I wish it was the actor who played Johnny Cage. Every hmm. time. Because out of the two of them, and throughout most of the movie, even though this is a goofy movie, mm -hmm. Ken is obviously written to be more of a comic relief character than Ryu. Mm -hmm. Between their dynamic. Yeah. And we've already talked about in the previous review my thoughts on the actor who played Johnny Cage and his ability in that movie to be the comic relief mm. and deliver every line. Oh, he would have ran circles around this dude. Oh, yeah! Circles. And so that as well colors my opinion of this character and the actor who plays him every time I see this movie. Yeah. I just can't get past it. I would have I would have chose Gary Daniels to be Ken. Do you know who that is? I if you reference where you're coming from, well, maybe, I'm gonna, but just I'm based gonna, off name, no. Well, I'll put a clip, but... <laughs> Gary Daniels, I, I would... He... Uh, have you seen... Uh, he was too... Not too old, but he was much older. Didn't have the blonde, blonde hair. But you've seen the first Expendables, right? Yes. All right, so... Uh, Jet Li ends up fighting Gary Daniels in, I guess, the tunnel... And it's it's the best fight in the movie. Okay. And he ends up breaking his ne neck, I think, by doing the like the axe kick or something. Shit. Yes. And, yeah, that guy. That yes. guy. Yeah. Okay. Dude, he, that the uh, Gary Daniels is amazing. Well, here I go again. Right. My favorite <laughs> Gary Daniels movie is uh, Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. And it's him starring opposite of the guy, the black martial art. Well, his name is uh, Ken Jeffries. Is, is oh, okay. Ken Jeffries. And he looks like Eddie Murphy. He mm -hmm. even has Eddie Murphy's mannerisms. He was also in Pootie Tang. But, <laughs> all right, moving. <laughs> we're, we're getting up. Yeah, yeah moving so up. Ken. Dude. No. Ken Masters, Master of None. All right. 100%. All right. Best character. Go ahead. Bison. It's not even close. Um... I alluded to earlier the comparisons to Shang Tsung for Mortal Kombat. They are both over the top mm -hmm. for completely different reasons, mm -hmm. I think, both in writing and everything else. And we're all Julia nails it. For I beheld Satan and he fell from heaven like lightning. Every time. And he's got more screen time than Shang Tsung. Got more lines. Dude is perfect. They need him to be this over-the-top, but still yet charismatic, scene-stealing uh, antagonist. No, he steals some damn scenes. And he pulls it all, oh, man. It's, he won. Uh, you know, For those of you that don't know, he died of a stroke about two months after the movie fi uh, was... They were finished filming. Hadn't even been released to theaters yet, but they'd finished all the filming, and he passed away very tragically to a stroke. Posthumously won a supporting actor award for his role in this movie, but like Heath Ledger, I don't even think it was a thing where he won f uh, for this movie, not an Emmy, uh, but an award. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wouldn't. Even, okay, I mean, nothing against him. It's just <laughs> <laughs> he he did win. I think it was a Saturn award. All right, you know. Uh... But he I mean, won an award for support, Best Saturn? Supporting Actor for, for his role in this movie. All right. I think he earned it because he's the most entertaining Well, if anybody's going to win an award in this movie, <laughs> it's right. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, there's this one moment where he's having this poor, pitiful me moment. Because he doesn't understand why the world doesn't want him to be their dictator. Uh, yeah. And you practically believe that he believes that he doesn't under... It's just... It's great. I enjoy it so much. Um, yeah. be best character. 
if, if I had to pick a runner up, it would be. A ah! th- go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. It you, might be mine. Yeah, you get to go. Okay. okay. Sorry. Right. Sorry. No, that's cool. Go no. Go ahead. Uh. I would say objectively, Raul Ju- uh, Bison is the best character in the movie. Okay. My favorite character, though. Oh. My yeah. favorite character, though. Is the difference between best and favorite, though? I'm gonna put this in the best because okay. I figured Bison would make the best. Sure. So since we got him out the way, okay. Zangief. Oh, yeah. See, there's the honorable. You know what? I'm, okay. See, yeah, there you see, go. Him and DJ dude, combined. Dude, but 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 to him, me, to, okay. So to me. Mm-hmm. The best Street Fighter character in this movie is Zangief. Yeah. How about that? No, oh, yeah. Because Raul Julia is fantastic. He can't do martial arts. No. He's not big and imposing. No. He's got a cool suit. He's got the technology and the you know all that good stuff. He's he's got a joystick. He's, he's got, got a, a joystick. And, and, and <laughs> his shoes light up. Just... But he's he he plays that character great. Zangief is the best Street Fighter character in the movie called Street Fighter. Yes. His facial expressions, it's right off the video game. His, his look is right off the video game. Yeah. Intruder destroyed. Um, I, 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 yeah. In, doesn't he do that in the video game? Yes. Yeah, that's his finishing poles or some shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. Um, and hey, he turns face. Yeah. At the end of the movie, he and, and nobody his blinks an eye about it. No. By the way, they just rode with it. They yeah. even correct his, you know, is his thumb. Uh, <laughs> he's just, you know what? Honestly, he's a nice guy. He's yeah. just a nice guy in the movie on the wrong Bison side. He's a dumbass. Bison is he's bad an guy. Bison is bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I loved Zangief. Uh, he didn't have to do anything. I just liked looking at him be so committed to that character. Yes. I don't know who that dude is. He epitomized the character yeah. from start to finish. Yeah. Um, and he, I have to agree with you. Out of all out of all of the actors there's chosen one to that play a character... There's one that comes close. Uh, Chun-Li? I would say Vega. Oh, Vega Chun- does a great job too. Yeah, I would say Vega comes. Uh, yeah. Vega does an excellent job too. Chun um, Li comes. Yeah, Chun Li's in there too. But I think Ve- I think it's yes. Chun Li, Vega, and then Zangi. Yes, I for me. I almost forget about Vega though mm-hmm. because uh, unfortunately he doesn't really get any speaking lines, no. which hurts a little bit. No, um, it's, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and as, far, as far as coming closest to the video game character, that's all I'm sure. talking about. Yeah. Well, it just but uh, in the purposes of thinking about him in terms of the movie, I almost overlook him. Mm, all right. Because of that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. There you go. Zangi is my best character. All right. So, the last, the last category. Best and worst fight. And if you've made it this far, <laughs> you're probably wondering, well, how the hell are we going to salvage this? <laughs> you know we got a worst fight. You know that. Oh. But where the hell did the best fight come from? So let's start with worst fight. Am I? Oh, you tagged me. No take backs. <laughs> and I hate to do this because I've now done this three Uh-oh. movies in a row. Uh-oh. And it's the last God fight. God damn. It's the last fight. Okay. For the same reasons, for the <sighs> most part, it's been in the previous reviews. It's the climactic fight, and yet it's awful. The reason this one is as disappointing as a final fight, I have two reasons why it's different than previous times. We've already established, unfortunately, Raul Julia playing Bison is not a martial artist. In previous reviews we've had, the Climax, they are martial artists. And if anything, that's what makes it more disappointing. Yeah. Because they're not used properly. Right. This, we have an actual martial artist. Right. Good one. Okay. A good good one. Mm -hmm. So the disparity in what they can do is even wider. And then, and, and I guess, maybe this is to Raul Julia's benefit, and, and our benefit, Crap tons of cutaways. So anytime there is any actual anything happening, uh, 
you can't see it. You don't really. know. You yeah. don't. I, there are a lot of one-liners. There's a lot of banter, which there really isn't. You know, the other movies are reviewed. It is more fighting than banter. Yeah. Um, so the banter kind of saves it. Again, we have a very charismatic Royal Julia, um, and <laughs> and, uh, and he tries a few, <laughs> few. Yeah. Um, you know, and so it's 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 fun. <laughs> I, Stuttering. I, I, I'm trying to think of a positive way to put this, but it is worst fight, so maybe I don't have to. Well, but, I mean, when he was flying towards Van Damme at three miles an hour. <laughs> And Van Damme... Which time? Because he did it like... <laughs> and Van Damme couldn't swerve. I... He <laughs> couldn't. <sighs> yeah, it's... Okay. Is this, it's your... No, your it now. Okay. So you have I a different one? No, I do. I mean, not, I do. not to say this movie doesn't have multiple right. candidates. <laughs> right. I do have a different one. Oh I... God. Woo. The main event didn't make it on my list this time. As I, far at least as worst. one of us is breaking the mold. Okay. The fight that was never a fight. Which one? Ryu versus Vega the yes. first time. That was the, yeah, the, the, first the cage time match. Yeah, the cage match. I, uh, I disqualified it because it didn't yeah, happen, yeah, okay. but I wanted to. I understand. I understand. Uh, looks like it's about to go down. We can see from Ryu's movement that he knows what he's doing. And to be honest with you, if you watch the whole movie, you can tell even with the cutaways, Ryu, the guy playing Ryu knows a little something. Yeah. Vega, I'm not sure what he knows, but he looks cool. And we got this, we got this cool setup. And as soon as they get ready to throw a punch, we've been waiting to see something. Mm-hmm. And as soon as they get ready to throw a punch, the military shows up and stops it. Now, I think there's a lot of build up to it too. I, yeah, and I like I like the like the women in the audience. They, they all love Vega because he's you know ooh, Vega's a pretty dude. He's a pretty yeah. dude. Uh, but then you know Ryu takes his shirt off and stuff. He does a couple you know a little a little dance or whatever. Now the women are like putting down their Vega sign. I liked all... I, yeah. This was Vega gets great. really upset about it. Exactly. has great facial emotion yeah. to the reaction of the crowd turning on him. And it's when, great. And when Ryu throws the... He does like a fancy thing and then like kicks the sword or something like that. Mm. Makes the sword go in the wall. Yeah. And then the fans start saying, no weapons, no weapons. And Vega's all like... Because Vega's got his, his claws. claws. He's all like, ah. Oh. And he has to put his claws down. Yeah. What a, a great style. build up. Yes. A lot of style done and here. And then you just... So that's my you worst. Got Van Damme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Van Damme rolls in. Yeah. So that's 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 my worst fight. Yeah. Yeah. Best right. fight though. All right. Since you went first I, last time, I can go. Sure. Go. My best fight of the movie. I was surprised. Okay. I was. It's it's the 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 movie is almost over, and I was like, man, I don't have a best fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryu and Ken fought Vega and Sagai. Okay. And you know what? I was still thinking, I ain't got no best fight. And then they started doing things from the video game. Mm -hmm. Vega did his role twice. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Ken looked like a and Ryu was doing some stuff. Yeah, you can't see it because of the camera because of the camera work. The editing is terrible. But they put some Street Fighter moves in there. It was passable. And because yes. it was passable and you have two the two leads of the actual video game, not the movie, versus two characters that were kind of, no, pretty much together the whole movie. And, I and, love the part and, and where they've been built up between these four characters yeah, throughout the, the movie too. Yeah, and I love that you know when Sagat's telling uh, I guess Ken and Ryu about you know Vega being the champion, and one of them's like, "Well, what happened to the old champion?" And Sagat's like, "Well, he retired and became me." You know, so you now you know it's like, "Oh, the, this is the old champion and the current champion versus yeah. Ryu and and Ken." Yeah, <laughs> I thought they did some good stuff in that fight. Yeah, best fight for me. Um, 
I I will I will say that fight still disappointed me. Oh, yeah, I'm not I, surprised. Well, because I remember, remember again, it's been a long time oh, since I'd yeah. watched the movie. Okay. And but I remember this fight being in it, and I'd been we'd been going the whole movie with no fighting. Yeah. Or bad fighting. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but I just I gotta make it to the Ken and Ryu and and Sagat and Vega fight, and and that'll be great, and. I remember it being a lot better than it actually ended up being. <laughs> Despite, again, some signature street fight. Like, we even right. got... Uh, were you doing yeah, this? We even, yeah. yeah. It was just a flash was, of light, was, okay? Was, yeah, there was Point no, Blake into Vegas chess, but I... They so, did it better in Mortal Kombat and still did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, but that is not my best fight. I just wanted okay. to comment on how I was thinking that was going to be my best fight, leading okay. into... Picking one right. and realizing it's not. But my best fight, because of the fun Easter egg that it is or joke that it is, it's Zangief Honda. Oh my god. It's Zangief right. Honda Kaiju right. on top of All right. uh, the, 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 the Bison's model. Right. And. All of the Japanese people in the army talking in Japanese, watching it on CCTV. Holy shit! That did, yes, that did happen! Oh my god! I love it! It's just so wrong! You, you, <laughs> ladies it's and gentlemen, so good. racism wins again! <laughs> I, yeah, that fight is great. There, yeah. I mean, it's and it's only like three seconds because it's again <laughs> cutaways. But the yeah. the yeah. kaijuish aspect yeah. of Honda and Zangief yeah. just going at it. They had the music, and they, they had, even insert they some the, of the music and them roaring like they were kaiju. Yeah, and yeah. it's just it's it's a very yeah. it's a spark of entertainment where there isn't any. No, throughout all of the other fights happening at the end of the movie. And so because of that, it's my favorite fight. It doesn't yeah. even end with a winner. Yeah. But it's just, I had, and I enjoy both those characters, yeah, both, yeah. too. So it was just that whole, again, fight, uh, since there weren't any other real clear winners to pick from here, right. I had to pick other elements of it to make it enjoyable. No, I can dig it. So that's my best fight. Hell, I almost <laughs> went with I almost went with Chun Li just kicking the shit out of Bison. Right, and that's not even a fight. Be, no, but she looked she she looked cool as hell. Did you notice her freaking shoulder muscles? All right, hey, so, we, we made it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a number. I need a review. I scale one to ten. You want me to rate this yes, movie? Street Fighter. We have rated the previous two. We aren't stopping I now. Didn't rate more. I didn't give Mortal Kombat a number, did I? I didn't give it a number. I think. I think we well, I think what we mostly did was say, would we watch it again? And oh. did we prefer it over Bloodsport? Oh, okay. Which, no, okay. Bloodsport, Bloodsport over Street Fighter every day, all day, for me. Bloodsport over Street Fighter. Heck yeah. Uh, and to be honest with you, when I said I prefer Mortal Kombat, Bloodsport is right there. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, Bloodsport does have the actual martial arts. I mean, more actual martial arts in it than Mortal Kombat. It's, just, it's more structured. Yeah. Street Fighter, no. It's, <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat, it's Bloodsport, and then it's a, a couple of other movies we might review, and then it's Street Fighter. Double Dragon? <laughs> um, so, for me, Street Fighter rating. There is one thing that I think this does better than Mortal Kombat, and that is only the much wider variety of cast characters. Yes. Okay. I can Mortal, agree with that. Mortal Kombat really only has four characters. Well, I, well six. What? He is reaching. Well, I, I mean, you're right. I enjoy. But... I, I'm not trying to say I'm ranking Street Fighter head over Mortal Kombat. I'm just saying that's one thing about this I do enjoy better than Mortal Kombat. One thing. 
That being said, this is a guilty pleasure comedy when it's supposed to be an action movie based off a video game, and it fails at that at nearly every level. Not the comedy part. It unfortunately succeeds at that in a Mystery Science 3000 kind of way. But the actual attempt, it's just a fighting video game like Mortal Kombat. There's, there's not a lot of plot for you to mess up, and you still messed it up. That being said, I would still watch this above Bloodsport. Primarily, though, because from beginning to end, I laugh my ass off. I still laugh my ass off. Now, Bloodsport is the better movie when it comes to the things you said with the with the fighting, and it's got better structure, it's got a better story, but I've already discussed the issues about how it has not aged well. If it's not something you grew up with, it can be difficult to try and watch now. And so if you don't already have a little bit of nostalgia for it, I don't think that occasionally good fight scenes carry that movie as well as this is a great movie to watch with friends and laugh your ass off. Make fun Street, of, you, can make fun of Mortal, you can make fun of Bloodsport. You can make fun of all three of these movies, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, you can. Make fun of all three of these. But, but as much as we made fun of this one? <laughs> and had fun oh, doing it? You, woo, you on, <laughs> man, you are on an island now, and, and I don't have a boat. I, I, you now I will not, say I will not it's, visit you. It's like this, okay? Like, okay. I don't know if I don't watch Blood throughout the rest of my life. I don't know if I'll watch Bloodsport again. Okay, I know I'm gonna watch Street Fighter at okay. least one more time in my life I, at some point. Because again, it's funny. Okay. It's it doesn't try to take itself seriously. What? It's and it's funny. Okay. I I laugh the whole movie. It's so bad. That it's good for you. But that gives it some replay value cuz okay. it's still funny. All right. Okay. And it's a bad it's a bad Street Fighter adaptation. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, Not going yeah. to disagree with you oh. at all. But Ooh. but it's funny. Bloodsport is a better Street Fighter adaptation <laughs> than Street Fighter Jonathan. There's, there's no street fighting in Bloodsport. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, that's about. I, I told you I couldn't wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure Jonathan has had fun torturing me. Hey, it's been a long time coming. Yep, I made it through. We made it through. Did uh, you make it through? Jesus Christ! Leave yeah. a comment. <laughs> so that was Street Fighter: The Best and Worst Parts of. Uh, we'll see what we do next. Double Dragon, dead or alive. Until next time, this has been The Real Truth. Peace.